Now, if you think for one second that I learned my lesson from the last episode, then you just don't know me. No, he's coming for the base. There we go. And we are back. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lagan. This is Grounded. And on the last episode, boy, did we have some trouble with those bees. I accidentally, okay, it was an accident, raided my own base with a bunch of bees. And they destroyed a, a lot, including my zipline tower, which I have built back bigger and better than ever. It's probably three levels taller now. So all of these slower zip lines are much faster now. So that's, so it wasn't such a bad thing. It wasn't such a bad thing, but they destroyed my outer wall of the base. And as you can see, as we're coming up on it, I went ahead and changed it from the Palisade gates to mushroom walls. I went one and a half high. So it's a little taller. And I redid all of the spikes out here. They look a little better, a little more organized. And as you can see, I have figured out a way to have the pebble turret for ground defense and the pollen turret above it, double stacked. It looks really good, I think. Ow. And we'll check it out right now, shall we? Yes, we shall. So we come up on this ladder. We get to the pebble turret, which is right here. And it stores all of my rocks in the chest nearby, this chest right there. So we've got 300 rocks in there. I also put some pollen in that chest, and I wanted to see how far away the chest had to be. We come up on this ladder. We get into the pollen turret, and it counts the pollen. I've got 30. So we're good. So we could uh, do anything that flies at the base. We can now take care of by hitting them with the pollen turret. Pollen turret, it's supposed to knock them on the ground and keep them grounded, I guess. And then, of course, this is for any rodents that come up against the wall here. Now, that bee that destroyed my tower, I killed him. And then I stuffed him. And now he's hanging in front of my door. And it's, let this be a warning to any other bee on the map. This is your future. Don't mess with me. I also finished the floor in here. It's all burr. Looks good. Looks nice. I like it. Now we're off to the great unknown. We're going over to the hedge today to see if we could find that mixer that's over there. Plus, I believe I'm missing one auxiliary chip. We'll see if we can find that today, too. It's very exciting news. Grounded did their 1.0 release trailer, meaning the full version of the game. They did a trailer for it, and it will be fully released in September. But from the trailer... I was able to pull some pretty cool pictures for you guys if you want to check them out here. Got a picture of the new Mantis armor coming to the game. And then here's another angle of that Mantis armor. And these photos were taking off of uh, a video, so they're not going to be the clearest things, but you'll get a good idea of what you're looking at here. We've also got a Black Widow coming to the game. You can tell the spider is completely black and it's got some red on its back. It's definitely a Black Widow. We've got some sort of new armor coming to the game as well. Uh, might be the Black Ox Beetle. Uh, is going to get an armor set. I'm not sure, but it looks very Viking forward. This armor set looks very cool. Then, of course, there is the Mantis, which is going to be a boss fight. It's probably going to be like the Broodmother in its own arena, and you're going to have to spawn it in using a recipe, and then you're going to get some cool drops for killing it. And here's another view of the Mantis. Looks like it's going to be a pretty tough boss fight. Then I think the most interesting photo of them all is potentially, if you look at the left side of this photo, there's a figure staring down at the kids below. And that figure might be Dr. Tully. In like every superhero movie ever, there's a super villain or a villain. And those villains are always messing with experiments. And then the experiment goes wrong. And then now they're a crazy psychopath. And I think that's what maybe happened to Dr. Tully here with his muscle sprouts. And he's always doing experiments on things like the berries in the yard. So who knows what he's done to himself. But I think that's Dr. Tully. He's standing in some whitey tighties. So it's got to be a humanoid of some kind. All right. We are now over here under the hedge. Gotta be careful. Lots of spiders over here. I actually need some webs because I had to redo all of my zipline webbings. So I used all my spare webs. Oh, look, a Tasty and a, a spider are fighting each other. Ooh, who's going to win this one? I got poisoned. God, there are <laughs> spiders are everywhere over here. I can, I can tell you right now what we're going to have to fight during this mixer. Let's just kill all the spiders. Just kill all the spiders. Dead. Easy. How'd the Tasty do? Oh, yeah, they, they definitely won that fight. Good job, boys. Good job. Don't come at me, though. Okay. Same team. Same team. Same team. Oh, I think I found the mixer. All right, cool. That was easy to find. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to build something up around this one and just fight a bunch of spiders. I would say it's probably, if it's just going to be spiders, which it probably will be Orb Weavers, Orb Weaver Juniors, Spiderlings... 
I don't think the bird mother is going to come down here, but she does live in this area. I think we should just do like a box, a tall box around this, and then I'll just do hand-to-hand -hand combat. That's what we'll do, and that's what we're going to do. Oh, good. You can build through these leaves. I was wondering if they were going to get in the way. I'm doing kind of a wide berth around this thing because spiders are going to have some reach with their lunging abilities, so we don't want them to accidentally uh, clip through the wall and hit this thing. So let me come out one more on this side, and then... Try to fill it all in. I don't know if I brought enough mushrooms for this, but I, just, I actually want to go a little higher, too, because spiders can jump, and they might just jump over the wall. Got to be careful. Okay, here's what we've got. A big box made of mushrooms and a door. In true lagging fashion, I forgot to bring acorn shells, so <laughs> that's on me. I'm also out of mushrooms, so I need to go back home and cook some more up so we can finish up this half wall that I'm doing on the top. And it's about to be nighttime, so I don't really want to do this during the night anyways, but while we're over here... We can totally try to find that auxiliary chip. So we need to get up in the bush and look around in some of these uh, lab pieces that are up there. I think is where we'll probably find it. So let's go take a look. So I also forgot my wrench anyways, my repair tool. So we need to go back to the house for that as well. So yeah, we're definitely not ready to start up that mixer. I'm worried about the orb weavers getting me stuck in webs. Because they shoot webs, which I totally forgot about. Which could prove to be a problem. Let's check this one. There's a little tiny lab right here. Yes, yeah, so that could be a problem while we're doing melee only on this defense. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm not gonna go with the turret. I'm just gonna go hardcore. We're just gonna go melee and see what happens. Where you at, Burgle Chip? You in here? I think I came in here already, so it's probably not in this one. It would be like right here if it was, but it's not. All right, on to the next. Knock, knock. Who's there? Like the video. All right, we're here. Is it in here? It's definitely not in here. I don't see it anywhere. Ooh, I've wandered into a cave. How lovely. I want to see if you could build in these. I doubt seriously I can build, but if I could put a turret in here, I say brood mother boss fight turret, baby. That would be so much fun, but I doubt it. Yeah, it's definitely not going to let me do it. It says no land rights. I've never seen that before, but yeah, we cannot put a turret in here. Oh, that would have been too much fun. Oh, we got another little lab piece coming up. Let's see. Hopefully it's in here. Hey, there's the, the thing down there. The mixer's right below us. Oh, God. So it's a fight you boys want, is it? Fight over. Got you. You know what? I feel like the burgle chip that I'm missing is actually in a treasure chest in the koi pond. Because since the update... I never opened that treasure chest again. That's got to be where the missing burgle chip is. Not up here. Great. I've just wasted my time and yours. All right, I got my swimmies on. We're going down below into the depths. So I'm going to see if this chest is, in fact, where we'll find the auxiliary chip that I'm missing. And I've also got my Everchar torch, the new torch that we made a couple episodes back. And it works underwater fine, as you can see. Because we can see. Yeah, here's the chest. And it is closed again. So... We've got to get the key for it. It's a mossy key. And I'm pretty sure we'll find the mossy key all the way this way. So we got to go for a little bit. And we got to go into a secret cave where there's a bunch of diving bell spiders. So I'm not excited about that. But we'll be all right. We're just going to swim past them all, grab the key, and open that thing up. Now, I've just got to remember where this cave is. I want to say it's back here somewhere. Is it? N maybe. Yes. Yes. Found it. All right. We'll swim through here with the quickness, grab the key. Let me get my stamina back up, actually, because we are going to have to fly through this. There's diving, there's diving bell spiders everywhere, and they're biting me, and I don't like it. At least they don't do poison, though. All right, so the key should be right down here next to this tube somewhere. There it is. Got it. We got more spiders. Now we just got to... Eh. Now we just got to get out of here. Open the chest. Try not to die from suffocation. I've only got 47 more seconds left. We'll find some air somewhere. Get some air from inside the lab right here. Yeah. Ah, ah. All right. Open the chest. There it is. That's the missing one. Got it. Awesome. Give it to me. Give it to me. Perfect. Turn that into Burgle towards the end of the episode and see what appears in the shop. It's going to be stuff we've already known forever, but at least it'll be available for purchase in the shop. If I haven't purchased it already. Okay, now we have to hurry because I just cooked a Black Ox burger, which will give us damage resist. But it's on a timer like all food is, so it'll spoil. And I want to eat it right before we start the event. 
I'm also I've also got a smoothie that'll give us uh, plus damage resist as well, so that'll stack with the Black Ox Burger. I've got a smoothie that's gonna give us attack damage. Plus, I've got a mutation, the new one, Guard Dog, that gives you plus attack damage when doing a defense event, which the mixer is a defense event. So that'll stack with the smoothie. So we're gonna be double attack damage, double defense. So we should be really strong, at least for the first part of this. They'll wear off after a minute or two. But for the first part of this, we should be really strong. And the sun should be coming up in a minute, so it won't be dark either. Oh no, I'm so stupid. I forgot to get the acorn shell for the door. We're just gonna have to improvise. I've got, I've got an idea. There's my idea. I put a wall up. I think because of this little lip here, the spiders will have a hard time getting over that. And if I leave that up there, it should be too small of a gap for the spiders to get in, at least the big ones. And then the Orb Weaver Juniors might have a problem with this little gap right here. So I'm hoping that works. Good God. Okay. If anything, this backstop here, this back wall, will stop them from shooting webs at the machine. So yeah, hopefully that works. I just thought though that we also might get mosquitoes because there are a couple of mosquitoes that hang around the, uh, the flooded area of the backyard, which is kind of where we're at. So I hope not, but maybe mosquitoes. Anywho, let's pop our stuff and let's do it. Liquid rage, human food, black ox burger. Start the machine. And I've already got the spider mutation on, so I'm 75% uh, resistant to poison. Uh, as well as I've got the guard dog defense on. Oh, it's a bunch of larva. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. At all. Okay, take it easy, pal. Got him. All right, first wave done. Piece of cake. Easy. Easy, one would say. I should also pop a bandage. And that way I just get a constant tick of health. Uh, just keep popping bandages from time to time. That way, if we do get poisoned, it'll fight against the poison as well. So that's probably a smart strat. All right, who's next? Where are they coming from? Should have made a little staircase to get on top of the uh, walls here so I could see where stuff's coming from. Oh, we got some orb weavers coming. Two of them. Not today, big fellas. Your boy is real strong right now. Real strong. All right, easy. Well, I should be collecting these uh, larvae. Because their little sacks that they give you are really useful for making bug rubber, which you need for something. I forget what. Armor upgrades. But those guys didn't drop any of their sacks, so that wasn't helpful at all. Larva and spiders so far. All right, here's the Orb Weaver Juniors. Which will poison you, but it's only one attack they do that poisons you. It's the one where they kind of dip back and then lunge forward at you. So you want to block that one before they get that one off, because that's the one that'll poison you. We're gonna get a lot of uh, fiber though, which is really good for zip lines. We'll go ahead and pop another bandage. Just keep my health ticking. All right, we've reached the halfway point, I think, just about the halfway point. No one's even touched the wall yet. Oh, they're coming from the side now. Okay, nice. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter where you come from. Bam! Orb Weaver Juniors. Got you, got you. Yeah. Dead. Those acid glands. Being stingy with the acid glands today. Killed six, I think seven larvae, and I've got one acid gland from it. More larvae. God, they're in sync. So they all hit me at once. Oh! I've been poisoned. I've been poisoned. It burns. Speaking of being poison, I wonder how much poison the Black Widow spider is going to do. I mean, they're notorious in real life for being like a deadly poisonous spider. So I hope that reflects in the game. Another gaggle of larva. Yeah. Ah. Blocked. Out of stamina. Stop. I need my stamina back. Yeah. Yeah. Bam. Hello. Oh God. It's a whole wave of the little guys and a big bomb. Sometimes you just gotta keep swinging your sword and hope for the best. I think there's one more. All right, we got it. We got it all. Look at that. I wonder if that was the final wave. 
because that was a lot at once, but we got them all, no problem. Full health, too. Yeah, we should be done any second. Let's go. Yeah, we might get one more wave here at the very last second. Let's keep our eyes peeled. Now nah, we got it. Piece of cake. So, I would say this one was actually easier than the haze. So this might be the second one you're intended to do. But we've done the one out in the yard by the pond with all the mosquitoes. And then we did the haze. And now we've done this one, which leaves what I think are definitely, without a doubt, going to be the two hardest. The one in the upper backyard and then the one in the sandbox, which we're going to save that one for last because that's just got to be so hard. But is it 2,000 again? It is, 2,000. All right, not bad. Looks like all my buffs lasted all the way through that fight too, which is good. So those have good lasting power. If you look below the health and stuff, you can see all your buffs and the timer that's go that's draining around them. All right, all cleaned up, all torn down. Got a bunch of mushrooms back. Let's head to Burgle and turn in that auxiliary chip. Burgle, I got a chip for you. I found an auxiliary chip. Ah, more chips, thank you. You're welcome, goodbye Burgle. Find out what it unlocked in here in the science shop It'll probably be all the stuff at the bottom yeah the diving lantern upgrade the fin flops upgrade and maybe the sign set science but it's probably just these two right here which we uh i haven't done either of these but i don't care also to swim any faster or to have a better lantern underwater now that i especially have the uh charcoal uh torch so we're good there but it's always good to have it in the shop just in case i change my mind and do want it later now if you think for one second that i learned my lesson from the last episode then you just don't know me but here we go i'm gonna put one just one b in there and i want to see what happens is it going to send a whole wave or just one b but because i only put one in yeah it, it's only going to send like one or two b's because this meter would fill up more the more i put in they are rate they've got rage I don't understand the rage added thing because that's already at three. It doesn't matter. Unleash the wall. This is a bad idea. I'm hoping it's just going to be one B. Don't know. But I'm going to go up to the pollen turret and see if we can test this out. We got to test it out, all right? It's what it's here for. I'm putting the wafter all the way over there just in case they do actually are... In case they're actually... No, he's coming for the base. There we go. Are you going to attack my mushroom? Look at you. You're on the ground now. I'll tell you what, though. The frames get really bad. Oh, he was on the ground. He's not anymore. The frames get really bad during these events. Don't do that. Please don't break it. And it's over. So it is just one bee. So if you want pollen, just get one bee at a time. And if this is like yesterday, every single bee that came dropped pollen when I harvest them. So let's see what we get. Yeah, we did. We got four pollen from that guy. And the pollen gun works. It does send them to the ground, but they get up pretty quickly. So it's not very helpful because i you know i have to get out ow, 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 ow. i have to get out to um kill the bee when it's on the ground really quickly and as you can see i didn't really have enough time to do that i'm not sending any more flying creatures over to my house on purpose but what i will do is put a black ant in here and see what that does the waft has been unleashed let's see what happens interesting it won't send the black ants for some reason but i'm gonna add more black ant parts and see what happens uh, maybe it'll send them now. I've got three in there. I've got one bar here and uh, It's at one dot for rage. So they're not even mad at me. I Don't know if it's gonna send them to be fair. I never really mess with the black ants So let's see if I could get the red ants over here. Well, never mind. I now see I think there's a timer here. It's not counting down though. It's counting up. So <laughs> I'm not quite sure why I can't get any of these Bugs to come to my house, but we got a bee to come we tested out the pollen turret. It works. It's not great, but it does work. And we got our revenge on the one bee that knocked down the tower. And we took out the mixer over under the hedge. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to drop a like on it. And as always, it's been your boy Lagging24. And I will see you uh, next time.